Y'all need to everybody spam Beyonce in this because something tells me that Beyonce is in the studio right now working her tail end off trying to make this six baby mama song inspired by me. What Beyonce doesn't know and what's very important for Beyonce to know is that I just got a phone call from um, baby mama I don't even know. First time hearing about her ever today. She came with the receipts and the proof and I am not the first baby mom. I am not the second baby mom. Beyonce, I'm not the third baby mom. I'm not the fourth baby mom. I'm not the fifth baby mom. Beyonce, I am not even the sixth baby mom. Beyonce, make sure you tell these folks I am the seventh baby mom and sing that song so good. I want you to sing that song so good that no no other baby mama pop up and remind these folks in that song to take they got them birth control. Me too. So I am baby mama number two and I'm there to say that everything Morgan's saying is true and just how she was pregnant with their daughter and he had someone else pregnant, similar situation with me. So my son has a brother that's eight days older than him and yeah, he doesn't call, he hasn't called, he doesn't help with anything, he never has, probably never will. And yeah, everything Morgan's saying is true. And I'm glad that someone's airing this shit out because he's fucking trash. So a lot of you guys follow Morgan. Every last one of you guys that are saying that though the baby is mine or if it's mine, my lawyer will be reaching out to you. And we're going to get this nipped in the bud since um, you guys can have sex with me and you know, sneaky link, but you know, all those times that we sneaky link, y'all wasn't telling everybody about me being a deadbeat, so, yeah, about that, let's get all these kids legitimized, only solution, and I still love you guys, no shade, you know, but let's get it done. So, that's the pookie that popped up, right? So this is the seven, he, he got seven baby mamas. Women are expert detectives and all of a sudden these women don't know. Shh. You don't know nothing. My man is just skeeting left and right and he gonna have his lawyer, you know, contact y'all with this and we, we gotta get some things legitimized as he say. We gotta go through the proper litigation you know, to see what the heck is going on. Cause y'all can't be pinning these things on me, calling me a deadbeat, defamation, you know what I'm saying? But baby, I mean, that's two or three. I think we saw three so far. Let's get on to the rest of this. Cause Morgan, Morgan here, unless Jairus is kid, unless this, this is all, they're all collaborating to, you know, and he's a part of it, but let's, let's get on to the rest of this story. Let's go, man. So there's nothing that I hate worse than a liar. So let me shut this down real fast. I have like three things to comment on about the video that he posted of me today. First off, yeah, I am a bitter baby mom. Anybody would be a bitter baby mom if you literally just had a C-section 30 days ago and you moved up to Michigan because that's what your boyfriend wanted to do and then he leaves you with a C-section and his baby to take care of and then moves in with his ex-girlfriend um, on your birthday, which is also Valentine's Day, but yeah, sends you a bouquet of flowers as if that's going to make everything better. Second, he proceeds to call me just a 23-year-old little girl. I told you guys he's always tried to little girl me. One thing he wasn't little girling me about was when I was paying the bills i put a roof over his cut head because he didn't have enough credit to do so i wasn't just a 23 year old girl when i was cooking for him cleaning for him doing his laundry literally doing everything wasn't a 23 year old girl when he was riding around in my 2021 truck um in 2021 because he couldn't afford to keep his car payment on and they were turning off his car payment every single day after his payment was due also wasn't pay calling me a 23 year old girl when I was paying his payment so that he could ride around the city. He then goes on to say that it's just so hard to raise a kid with all these baby mamas who are just so bitter. Um, I literally have never stopped you from seeing your daughter. That's the funny part about it. You can come back to Michigan and see her any anytime. I'm not catching a flight and taking her 12 hours down the road alone as a 23 year old little single baby mom. Don't I don't think you understand how hard that would be. And the last thing, no, nobody's bitter that you're with your girlfriend. Um, I would be bitter if I was her because you literally have been talking to this girl and dating on and off for 10 years now, you call. 
yet you've literally had not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six kids on her, and she's known about every single one of them on the way and has stuck by your side, that's a little bit embarrassing. Honestly, I wouldn't want that rep. Um, if, if somebody has six kids with me, it's not giving they want to be with me and love me, but that's up to her. Couldn't be me, though. Y'all have a great day. Bye. My man seems like the ultimate finesse, man. City Boys is up like 10,000 with this. He with one woman and you get six other, I mean, five or six other women pregnant and she's still staying by your side. Man, listen, guys, this is, I mean, it's not cool to be having all them babies. But if you got all these women taking care of you, man, you get a woman to move up there and she's getting like, I mean, one of my clients, like she, she was on this type of time. She was taking, she got a guy, a car and an apartment. You know what I mean? Like. Women will do things for you guys. Don't think that this is strange or it's a skit. Don't think that this is, is untrue. Women are doing these things for men. Women are spending their hard earned cash, letting guys ride in their cars. And these guys, man, hey, I don't know, man. You know, but like a lot of you can't even get a woman to cook for you. Can't even get a woman to, you know, give you a powerful Lewinsky. None of that. This dude is just just pulling it off man you know what i'm saying but let's let's see what he talking about let's go i did that um being in her parents house i wasn't comfortable with that doing that you know we just came from my own shit, so that was hard to endure which i was willing to be humble to you know make it to the next step um morgan has a bad temper you know, and I have one as well, so we just start clashing. You know, when she was going through a postpartum, I'm working out these hours. It it was kind of bothering me to, you know, deal with the negative energy every day. And I would come home, get with my kid, even though it was for a month, but scratched a month, I was with Morgan, years, two years. Um, Think about my other kids that, you know, lost out because I was so invested into her. And um, I'm not like her, I don't need no pity party. I was very upset she took it to social media because that's why I'm trying to get you guys to understand the game she's playing, you know? Um, Morgan's TikTok or anything else wasn't popping before then. You guys wasn't even stunning. But now that she tells you about our life, my life, preferably it's really my life. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's so in tune. With the world, we have to understand that this world needs more love. And yeah, I, I played a little petty, shooting back at her, posting stuff. Um, because you're not going to tarnish my image. You're not going to make me out something that I'm not. You know I call my baby every day. Some days you don't answer because you're on your emotional trip and you don't let me talk to her because I'm with somebody else. And if you was with somebody else, I wouldn't feel that way. I have other kids. I don't feel that way. And if you're a human being in America, you'll understand that this is bigger than man was laying it on you know he just being honest about his feelings he said he gave baby girl two years of his life and he just basically forsake the rest of his kids you know what i'm saying to be with this woman morgan you know he moved lived in the lived in the parents house and a lot of you ladies i know people go through hard times right but one thing i always say as a father i i unless it's your husband and you guys are relocating temporarily you know what i mean but i just can't see as a parent letting uh, uh, my daughter move in, she can move in, you know, but with all this foolishness and as a man, you having to stay with somebody else, nah, man, we're going to have to thug it out. We're going to have to get our own place or something, you know, uh, and for a woman to be like, I'm always getting a place to stay for the man. Ladies, there's so many of y'all ladies out here doing this. Y'all, the man is moving in with you, which is not supposed to be that way. The man is supposed to be providing a roof over, over your head and the kids. But I digress, man. You know, y'all know these dudes for the day and y'all want to go and talk talk about the ish out that goes down just to have these struggle stories and trauma bonding online. Y'all got to cut it out. But let's see. So this Morgan character, listen, baby, 
Like, I don't be feeling sorry for y'all ladies. Y'all be coming on here with these stories and y'all get into it. And we constantly hear this stuff over and over. You got finesse, you got finesse. Y'all be dealing with these dudes with multiple, multiple baby mamas and stuff like that. And trying to see the, I'm trying to see the better in him. I don't judge a man by his current situation, but by his, you know, all this stuff that y'all be getting into. Then once it all goes to shit, then y'all want to get on here and talk, you know, about how you was done wrong and all this stuff like that. When you chose somebody who basically wasn't, you know, wasn't the best, wasn't the best choice, you know, so except except responsibility, which I hear you, baby. But uh, you chose what you chose. And when a man does it, y'all be like, hey, that's your fault, baby. It's your fault, too, babe. But let me know what you guys think about this, man. Comment below. Like, share, comment and subscribe. Hit me up on link. Treat a book of one on one with yours. Truly purchase all my books, merch, T-shirts. Helps to support the channel. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. With that being said, much blessings and abundance. Stick around for the next video that's going to pop up on the screen below. That's where I'm going to see you guys at. It's your favorite everything. This is wisdom. I'm out of here. Peace. Uh, yeah. 50 cent. 50. Part two. I'm going to bring it back. Uh, yeah. Can't forget Tony. 50. UK.